Hello, glorious, spilling way, hidden back up deep in the woods with a weird little underwater butthole thing. Look at that thing. You guys ever seen that before? I mean, obviously we got spring water running in or whatever kind of water it is, but uh, that's, uh, that's a new one. It's like a crater that's pumping in more water. I guess it's not that weird. Comment down below if you've seen that before, but I've never seen a weird little round ring pumping in water to a damn creek in my whole life. So I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. Anyway, let's get to catching, pop out. What is going on, you dirty old pistachios? Someone suggested that a lot of times. So I figured I'd just do it this time because it kind of makes sense. But anyway, we were back at the spillway hidden up in the woods. And uh, last time we were here, it was raining. It was super cold, super windy. And we actually caught some pretty big fish. And pretty sure there's a lot more big fish and a lot more species that I've yet to catch, yet to touch, yet to violate. So we are back to give it a go today. We only have a few hours. So kind of gonna be running all over the place trying a bunch of different things. I am gonna try for crappie because last time I was here, I found a dead crappie. So. Yeah, might try to catch some crappie. We don't get to catch crappie out of spillways very often, and I'm not promised it today, but we're at least gonna try. And uh, yeah, there's definitely some weird random trash fish in the 10 plus pound range. Maybe some walleyes, maybe some toothy fish, and uh, yeah, it's a deep spot. It's all around a pretty good spot. Surprised it took me this long to come back, but here we are, we are back. We're ready to see what we can catch, so come along with me. Let's do this thing. Pa, pow, pow. Gotta walk back through the maze of nasty mud stuff. There's certain spots of that mud that really will suck you down like two feet, so you gotta be kind of careful. There's a bobber right there. There's also a bobber in the tree over there, so someone's been probably fishing for crappie, I'd expect, but water levels are way low. Like this was underwater last time. That wasn't even a thing. So I don't know if that's gonna help us or hurt the cause, but it's definitely the cause, so we don't really have a choice. And as far as working downstream, Probably not worth it, but who knows? Maybe all the fish are just pushed into a smaller area and they'll be easier to catch. You can be hopeful. You can be hopeful, or I can be hopeful, but uh, I don't know. I personally think the fact that it was flowing hard last time was a good thing, so. We're gonna just toss out a uh, night crawler on the bottom, and then we are going to uh, throw a bobber around with some, with some gulp on it and uh, see if we can't uh, get a crappie or something. I mean, other fish will eat a bobber and a jig head with gulp, so might as well try it. It's something I don't do a whole lot, and I probably should, but most of the time I'm bottom fishing for shit fish and get distracted pretty easily, so I just I just don't, you know? It's worth a shot. I know there's crappies around, so see if we can nab some. Just put on a whole wiggly night crawler, go for the bigs, maybe downsize eventually, and go from there. It's gonna be easier to tell if we're getting a bite because the water's low, I can tell you that. Last time it was just raging and windy and literally it looked like we were getting a bite at all times so it's hard to tell if we were getting a bite. So at least now the current's settled down. It's still going though, still creating oxygen but it's at least calm enough that I'll be able to tell what the hell is going on and uh, yeah, start fishing for some crappies. I already got hit. It was a small hit, but I got hit. I've been struggling lately, to be honest with you. It snowed yesterday. There was a high of 32 or some crap the day before, so I don't even care what we catch. Goal is one thing big, a bunch of small fish. I'm cool with it, which that's normally the game plan anyway, but that's extra the game plan today. My standards have been dropped. I've been humbled, and I just want to catch some. And hopefully spring actually sprungs and stays sprung one of these days. A man can help. All right, nothing fancy for the crappies. Just got a uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Get over here, leader. Small little jig head gulp minnow bobber, about three foot down for now. I'm gonna change the depths eventually, but I'm gonna throw it up to the left in the current. Just kind of let it float around and see what happens. See if anything happens. And if it doesn't work down here, after trying the brush piles, I'll go up right in front of the rapids and try for a little bit and see if that, uh, that does us any good. But better get a pole or set up next to this just in case the bottom pole gets hit and I have to drop this one but that's what we're doing for at least the next 30 not gonna overthink it too much gonna just uh yeah either wait for the bobber to go down or the bottom's still getting hit but looks small come on little Timmy you gonna eat it eat it Timmy no see what these little chits did to my night crawler imagine part of it's gone I hope part of it's gone because if it's not then that means they're more pathetic than they look they must have been more pathetic than they looked. I just scared a crappie, I'm pretty sure. 
One just surfaced over there where my uh, bottom pole landed. Let's go throw where we just saw that crappie. I'm also gonna shallow the bobber up because if the crappies are surfacing, then you don't need to be three foot down. But that goes without saying. All right, let's give this a whirl. See if we can't get any crappies or anything. Got one. Tiny, it felt pathetic, but we got one. Crappy out of a spillway. That's something I haven't done a lot of. Damn it, I should have brought a catfish pole down. I would have thrown this guy out whole. I suppose I still could. We can't kill our first spillway crappie in a long time. We ever caught a crappie out of a spillway? Yeah, I guess there's one that we caught a few. And they were much bigger than that. But look at that dude, he's beat up. Not sure if that's from the rocks or if that's from a toothy fish, but it looks more like rocks to me. It's right in this little pool. First fish on the board, pathetic, but technically not a trash fish. It was a very weird, awkward hook set, but in my defense, the fish was tiny. I set the hook and there was nothing there, but at the same time, there was something there. All right, well, we'll keep doing this for a little while. I know there's bigger crappies because I saw some dead ones. I guess there was bigger crappies. That doesn't mean there still is bigger crappies, but I'm trying this for a little bit. If you catch five dinks in a row and nothing bigger, then we'll switch her up. Second cast, though, so I mean, hypothetically, we should be able to catch catch a decent amount more, you, you would think. You would think, but you never know. That's a better one. Wasn't even paying attention. Hey, that ain't bad. <clears throat> ain't really good, but that ain't bad. Kind of getting spawning colors. Nice. Still not giant, but I mean, definitely an upgrade. He looks like he should be big. He's like shaped like he should be big, but he must have been in here for a while because skinny skinny boy crappie fishing you guys have been asking for crappie fishing kind of where's my line for my bottom pole well i don't really see it but i guess my bottom pole is still over there so that's the important thing but yeah i just threw it up in this current and was just letting it kind of float around wasn't even reeling or nothing and saw him pop it and then thought i was imagining things so i looked away and then looked up and bobber was gone Nice. Nothing better than when a bobber goes down, you know? It really brings out the kid in you. You hope it's a little bit bigger of a crappy, but I mean, still, the visual is just great. Well, second crappie was an upgrade, so I guess we're gonna keep crappie fishing for a little bit. Probably go reel in the bottom pole though, or at least bring it over by us. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring the bottom pole over by us. Cause I wanna fish for crappies for at least a little bit longer. All right, bottom pole, you get out there and you do something, all right? Most of the time, if a night crawler sits in there that long, or sits anywhere that long, it gets eight. And yeah, night crawler was still on there. So that's not really a great sign, but we'll still leave her out. Might as well, you know. Probably gonna kind of get in the way, but we should be able to manage, I think. But if it starts getting in the way too much, we'll just take it out. Got something. No, not in the tree. Out of the tree, out of the tree, out of the tree. That's a better one. <laughs> yes! Holy shit. Look at that thing. Oh wait, I guess I can bleep it. Boom. <laughs> That's one hell of a crap eye, boys and girls. My nice camera's all the way over there. I would show them to you on there, but I'm lazy and I don't want to. And plus he's kind of a mangy boy, but I mean, that's like an eater. Definitely a 10. Short and stubby, but look at the gulp minnow. Gandhi. Damn it, I'm so happy I tried for crappies. It's just a nice little change of pace, you know? Just something different. And it's in a cool spot. So it's not just some dirtbag lake crappies, it's some even more dirtbag puddle crappies. But that's more of my style, so we shall take it. All right, bud. <clears throat> Looks like you're living kind of a hard life, but enjoy the rest of it. All right, we're doing shit, boys and girls. Last time I was here, I caught three fish. Guess how many fish I've caught this time? Three. And they progressively got bigger. With that being said, every one of the fish I caught this time were smaller than every one of the fish I caught last time, but that's neither here nor there. Kind of got something figured out quickly, which is, uh, is always good, so I think I'm getting another one. Yep. Hell yes. Another schmedium one, but they are fire red up and i've fished a lot of creeks a lot of spillways and i've barely ever caught any crappies with that being said i haven't been doing this but still crappies aren't common 
in our creeks and places like this. They don't show up all the time, so. Pretty surprising and unexpected and rare that I caught them. You know, you know, stuff, things, pal, crappies. Hopefully that catches something giant, but for now I'm gonna keep catching the crappies. Just like that. Bad ass. Bad ass. I just kinda had a feeling, you know? After seeing the dead ones last time, I figured I'd give it a try and it's working out. It's like every cast right now. Must be a damn wad of them. And that one's getting a little belly. That's a little female. But maybe next small one we catch, we'll throw out hole, even though we don't really have a good rod for it. But we're pretty good at managing with what we got, so we might be able to manage with what we got. I think the depth change was crucial. And seeing that one splash over here when I threw out my bottom pole was definitely crucial as well. Because it told me that they were more towards the surface than... Uh, down a ways and uh yeah we'd probably still be catching some if it was a little deeper but i don't think we'd be catching as many it's like every cast within the first three to five seconds the barber goes down so pretty neato did i jinx myself did i get too cockeye with the crop eye maybe we didn't get a bite that cast eh, oh well all right we're gonna keep doing this keep throwing the bobber around try to catch some crappies get bored of that hopefully catch something on the night crawlers Throw some lures, see if we can't get something big, and go from there. So far, so good, though. In my book, anyway. In my book, anyway. Oh. Another one. Up closer to the current. It's a good sign that they're getting their colors, though. Might have to do a late crappy catching cook one of these days, because if they're getting their colors, it's the only time I really know how to catch them. I'm sure, anyway, you know. I mean, they move up right on the shore. Kind of messed up the fish for spawning fish, but crappies reproduce like crazy, so I think they'll be fine. This one choked it. There we go. <clears throat> Getting the spawning colors. Not as big, but I've already proved there's big ones out there, so. Oh, bud. Bud. Go on. That one might die. Even though he wasn't gill hooked, I kind of hooked him in his brain. Let's see if we can snag him and keep him for cut bait. Not sure if it's for today, but eh. If he floats up, we'll keep him for cut bait. Don't want him to go to waste. Are you swimming to my feet? Bottom pole just got hit pretty good. What's up, crappie bud? Do you want to be cut bait? Yep, he's going to be cut bait. He just swam to my damn feet. Bottom pole's getting hit, but it looks pathetic. Probably a different species, though, so that'd be cool. Yeah, crappie bud seen better days. He's not even flapping. <clears throat> okay, it was a fish and it turned into a tree. Yeah, it's all right. We'll get that going again here soon. For now, we're crappy fishing. Crappy fishing. I'm gonna take old bud over there, beat him on the head, figure out a way to kind of get him on a stringer or something. Keep him fresh and uh... Yeah, sorry bud. Thought he'd be fine, but it's just a sign. Swam right back to me. I won't wait too long to get the night crawler pulled back out because I think that's going to get our big fish of the day. But for now, all I really care about is uh, catching some more crappies. So let's do that. But I like using gulp um, instead of night crawlers for crappies for obvious reasons. For one, they like it better and it catches more. For two, it's more durable. I mean, you might get a couple fish out of a night crawler, but I caught like six or seven fish maybe on one piece of gulp and I probably could have caught some more on it but decided to put a new one on so it was straight but comment down below what are your favorite like smaller crappie plastics because uh I've been thinking about buying some find some bigger ones to maybe target the bigger fish but gulp's got the scent so I mean it seems to work pretty well at this point I'm pretty much catching them at will yeah comment down below what some of your favorite like one to two inch crappie plastics are. I mean, I'm in Nebraska, so our crappies aren't gigantic, but I wouldn't mind having some like little tubes or some shit. So open to suggestions if you got any. Oh, there's some like Mr. Crappie ones or something. Wally Marshall. That dude's a character. I used to watch his show on the Outdoor Channel when I had nothing better to watch. And sure was an interesting dude. I'll give him that. Boy, oh boy, does he sure love his crappies too. Is that a bluegill? I think that's a big bluegill. Can't tell? No, crappie. It's hiding behind the tree, but second biggest. 
Second biggest. All right, I'm gonna start weeding out the dink crappies. I think you guys have seen enough. I'm gonna just catch some for fun. I'll let you know when I catch big ones and then we're gonna spend the last couple hours targeting big fish with lures and night crawlers on the bottom, but I can't stop doing this. This is fun. I mean, the ultimate goal is to catch big fish, but gotta have fun while you're working too, you know? You know? You know? You know? You know? I got the best job ever, thanks guys. I'm gonna just sit on it. And girls. I always say guys, I feel like a dick. I'm gonna have to look up the percentage of girls and guys. Maybe I'll say those numbers at the end of the video. But for now, I'm gonna sit with this log up my ass catching crappies. Go from there. Bigger? Can't believe I didn't do this the last couple times I came here. I only made one video here, but me and Boo came here once and she actually caught a toothy fish, but that's all we caught. So if we would have done this, then Boo would have had a blast. Crappy. Didn't mean to hit the stick, but he'll be fine. And if not, we'll add him to the cut bait pile. That's bigger. That's bigger. If that's a crappie, it's a giant. I don't think it's a crappie though. And I got a tiny hook. I think it's a walleye or a bass. Go! Holy shit balls! Holy shit balls! Holy shit balls! Holy shit balls! Uh. 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 Yeah. That's not a crappie. That's the biggest wall I've caught in a long time. <laughs> I was just texting Boo sitting on my stump and Bobber went down. It didn't feel that big at first, but goodness gracious. It's kind of skinny and ugly, but it's pretty in my book. Oh, Jesus. God, Bob died. Did I lose anything? That was not graceful at all. <sighs> Can't be one of my videos without a good fall. Oh, hopefully he's all right. I kind of felt his little gills tear. Yeah, he's all right. Probably shouldn't put him in the water. He was hooked a little better, but now he's just skin hooked. All righty. Main goal is getting this big, beautiful, uh, greasy spillway walleye back healthy, but I wanted to give you a better look at him. Kind of shitty lighting, but you get the point. Probably 20, 22 inches or something, maybe. Maybe a little bigger. And, uh, very, very, very pretty. Miss walleyes. Wish I caught them more, but happy I caught this one. Let's get him back. All right, bud. Oh, shit. Fired up. Fired up and soaked the camera. All righty, well, I ain't throwing out a damn night crawler. I can tell you that much for sure. Might try a little swim bait, the uh, one I use for walleyes and flatheads. Might try a blade bait, but uh, for now, we're gonna keep uh, crappie fishing and I guess walleye fishing. Pow, though, we needed that shit, man. Or I did. It's been a struggle. That felt good. Oh, pow. Somehow I accidentally hit the record button on that, so that was probably janky, but you get the drift. My camera's also an absolute mess, so I'm gonna clean this up a notch and go from there, but pow. Hopefully that recorded at least a little bit. Now it's recording. Stupid camera. I think we got a better look at the walleye. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, man. That was badass. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. So happy! Alright, glorious Hidden Creek Spillway. Thank you for making my day. Thought you were only filled with trash fish, but I guess I just needed to do things a little different, and it paid off. I love you. I'll be back. Alrighty, well, I'd like to stay for another 10 hours, but uh, yeah, the crappie kind of slowed down, and uh, I'm not sure if I included it, but I caught another couple small, small walleye, little little cigar buds on the swim bait that I fish with all the time. But uh, yeah, we got, we got a big walleye, finally. We didn't have to fish a dam to do it, and I don't really like fishing dams at night, and plus it's hard to record, so I don't really fish the walleye spawn, but uh, yeah, I guess we didn't need to. But anyway, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll definitely be back, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely be bringing gulp and a bobber, adding that to my Spillway Creek arsenal for a while. Thanks for watching. I gotta climb out of this damn hole and get my ass home to get some stuff done, so. Appreciate you guys. See you soon. Okay, bye.